It has perhaps the most confusing name of any shark, and a mouthful of razor-sharp, pointy teeth. I'm Jonathan Bird, and this is Shark Academy. It's known by many names, the spotted ragged tooth shark, the gray nurse shark, the sand tiger shark, but it's not a sand shark, it's not a tiger shark, it's not a nurse shark, it's a sand tiger shark. Very confusing. In spite of the fact that it's called a sand tiger shark, it's not related to the tiger shark at all. Actually, it's much more closely related to the white shark. The gray white shark! When you see a sand tiger shark up close, you'll probably notice there's a mouthful of very intimidating looking teeth. They're long, they're skinny, and they're pointy. These are teeth designed for catching small, slippery fish. They're not teeth designed for taking big bites. They're designed for just catching things and letting them not get away. So their teeth kind of act like the barb on a fish hook. So even though they look really aggressive, they're actually not the type of shark that typically would bite a human. So because this shark looks really mean, but it's actually not mean at all, it's one of the most popular sharks for captivity in aquaria. It's one of the sharks you're most likely to see if you visit someplace like the New England Aquarium or the Georgia Aquarium or the Mystic Aquarium. As you know, sharks don't have swim bladders, so they tend to sink. Most sharks just have to deal with it by swimming along and using their pectoral fins to keep them up off the bottom. But the sand tiger has evolved a very clever way of dealing with that. They go to the surface and they gulp air into their stomachs, so they treat their stomach almost like a swim bladder. The sand tiger shark is perhaps most famous for being one of the species of sharks that undergoes a reproductive practice known as intrauterine cannibalism. The female has a pair of uteruses, and each uterus starts out with about 50 baby sand tiger sharks in it. But guess what? The first one that reaches about four inches long eats all of his or her siblings. That's the cannibalism part. So 12 months later, after the gestation is over and the baby sharks are born, out of 50 sharks in each uterus, that's 100 sharks. Only two are born. That is weird. For some reason that nobody can explain, sand tiger sharks love to get together what scientists call aggregate in various places around the world. There are places off North Carolina in the United States, places off South Africa, and places off Australia where the sharks just seem to gather at certain times of the year. And people think that maybe they're mating or something, but nobody's ever been able to figure out exactly what they're doing. They like to get together for human week. If you want to learn more about sand tiger sharks, we did a big expedition to try to figure out what they were doing on the wrecks off North Carolina. Click the link below and watch the adventure. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Bird, and this is Shark Academy.